buying Pop-Tarts at Big Lots. Quentin. <laughs> hey guys. Real quick, let's see the Burberry. Yeah. Guys, I want to thank you all for coming out. Thank you for the whistle, by the way. Um, guys, I want to thank you for coming out. Next week is finals week, and finals week is kind of like prison showers, cause like, and the soap is your grades, cause you know once you drop that soap, you're fucked. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, right now America is reaching its peak sexually, cause like think about it. Most of the stories in the news today are about sex, and my favorite one are the allegations toward Bill Cosby. Now, when I heard about it, the first thing I thought of was like, that has to be the funniest episode of The Cosby Show. Like, think about it. <laughs> like, he, he's, he's talking to Theo, and he's like, now nah, you see, Theo, when the man and the woman love each other very much, the man puts his pudding pop in the woman's pot chocolate pudding. <laughs> and like, personally, I, I, I feel for Camille so much. Cause like, imagine, like Bill Cosby is an audible 24 seven and she had to sit in bed and listen to this. It all would feel so good, we can end up with Oh, the woman pop is drizzling wrong. <laughs> and like, when I, when I listen to these stories and I'm not mad at him cause it's a silver lining. Like at least it wasn't kids. Like remember, <laughs> And it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't kids. That's the optim optimistic part of this. Because, like, remember R. Kelly? R. Kelly went from I believe I can fly to I believe I can hold it. <laughs> kids are in the news today, too. Yo, shout out to, shout out to kids. We're the education major at. Shout out to kids, right? Kids are awesome. And guys, you're going to think this is cool, too. Because kids are being taught hands on sexual education. They're being taught, you know, um, long division. Well, not long division, because at that age, your division isn't that, you know, advanced. Like, the division is there, but it's not college ready. And if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, let me let Bill Cosby explain it to you. The teachers are putting the chocolate pudding on the pudding pops of the little boys. <laughs> and, like, people are, like, attacking these women, like, calling them whores and sluts and prostitutes. But, like, think about it. If you have sex for money, you're a prostitute. No way around it. But if you have sex for something like classy, like Netflix passwords, you know, that's a favor, right? Stay classy, Millersville. <laughs> and like, I feel a personal connection to all of this because a lot of teachers, like when I was in like elementary school, a lot of teachers complain like, oh my gosh, how do I reach my kids? My kids are listening to me. Sex works. <laughs> it does. Like, if you're teaching a kid who doesn't know two plus two, have sex with them. But do the taxes next day. <laughs> and like with all these news stories going around, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very uncomfortable only because like people aren't trusting me anymore. Like, as you guys can see, I'm a very big dude, right? I'm big and black, like I, I can play football, right? For the Baltimore Ravens. Like any woman <laughs> in this audience would be afraid to be on the elevator with me, right? Because I'm big and I'm black and I play for the Ravens. And, you know, I eat a lot because my job is to play football. So, you know, I'm, I'm a lineman. I'm, line. I'm very heavy, so the elevator's going to get stuck, right? <laughs> you guys are negative. What are you thinking about? <laughs> but there's, you know, there's, there's a good thing about, like, being fat and black and in America. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I am a true definition of a true American. Let me explain to you why. Now, I live in Dean Hall which is home to the international students, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, that's the thing, right? <laughs> um, and I'm talking to one of my friends, he's from China, by the way. It's me and my friend Josh. Now, a little backstory on Josh, because it's about how the joke is. Um, he's a very skinny, uh, thin male um, who sits in his room and plays League of Legends all day. <laughs> so, we're talking to this guy from China, right? And we ask him, you know, what's your average view of Americans? And he says, fat, loud, and obnoxious. And I say, okay. Well, see, as you can see, I'm more American than he is. Ha <laughs> ha, pick my cotton. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Coming to the stage next is Henry Wagner.